Hello, precious one. I believe you're having a wonderful day in Christ. Today, I would like to share something with you, which I believe is going to be a great benefit to your Christian walk. Growing up, we came to this belief that, um, which I believe a lot of people still believe in those things, even though they are Christians. Uh, but the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. He said, all things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. And these new things are of God, not of the devil, of God. So we have all things that are passed away and see with your spiritual eyes that new things have come and they are of God. Some African traditions that growing up, I started seeing and it was troubling me a lot because when I gave my life to Christ, I started battling with those things and I came to a scripture in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 Jesus says something he said you make the word of God of no effect because of your traditions that you have handed down okay so traditions can actually um, paralyze the potency of the word of God in your life when you read Acts chapter 20 verse 32 Paul says something. He said, Beloved, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and grant you your inheritance among the saints. So the word of God has the potency to build you. Even if the, the word of God can make a timid person as bold as a liar. The word of God can make a foolish person wise. The word of God can make someone who walks in darkness eventually Turn your back on darkness and begin to walk the right path of light. Okay? This is one of the beliefs that if you're walking, all right, and your left foot hit a stool twice, it's a sign that something negative is happening or is about to happen. I don't know about the right foot, if the right foot hit something twice. Um, I have never heard any interpretation of that, but with the negative, with the left foot, that is where they actually overemphasize that. Mm. So let's say I'm taking a stroll and then my left foot hit a stone. And then uh, as, as, I'm, as I keep going, I hit a stone again. Then I begin to have this feeling that why am I um, hitting my foot on a stone twice? So I begin to give interpretation to that that something negative is happening to me and when you check the scriptures there is nowhere it is found in the scriptures that is what jesus said in matthew chapter 4 verse 4 he said man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god so you only live by the word of god not by traditions of men you see matthew 7 13 jesus said you make the word of god of no effect because of the traditions that you have handed down if you follow traditions the prophecies of god concerning your life you can paralyze them you can neutralize the potency of that uh, prophet prophetic word becoming actualized in your life when we were young and we were walking past a, a certain cemetery and when i was having a discussion with my friends and i pointed my finger to one of the tomb and he said, hey, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. You need, to, you need to bite all your ten fingers. I don't know if you know about that. So I panicked. And I'm like, what? He said, you need to bite all your ten fingers. Otherwise, something bad will happen to you. He didn't say whatever that thing that was going to happen to me. But he said that if I don't bite all my ten fingers, something bad is going to happen to me. So if you are someone that when you talk with hands expressions, and you're not careful, and you mistakenly point to a certain tomb, you have to start biting your, all your ten fingers. And then you keep your hands to yourself. So if you're talking, you are now use your, mm, you are the one in the middle. Yeah, do you see that one? You see that? So that was fear. Now, let me tell you something about fear. Job says something. He said, the things that I greatly feared happened to me. So sometimes when you begin to give interpretation to those things, you give wrong energy to those things. You are projecting fear. Okay? You, you, fear is the opposite of faith. So the same way faith is a substance of things hoped for. 
The same way fear is a certain of things hopeful because now you are you are you are inverting it. All right. So if you, faith is believing something positive, your fear will actually bring to pass the thing that you are believing in that you think is going to happen to you. So I want to encourage you that let the word of God culture you. Meditate on the word of God and get rid of traditions of men. You are a child of God. And if you are born again, unless you are not born again, anybody can say whatever they want to say because that's what they believe in. But trust me, when you are born again, you are regulated. Your life is courted by the word of God. I started rebelling against those things. Trust me. I went to some cemetery and I, I pointed my fingers to those things and I didn't bite my fingers. Waiting to, to see what's going to happen to me. And I'm still alive. My foot, my left foot has mistakenly hit something several times. And I didn't pray about it and nothing happened to me. It's not biblical. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the word of out of the mouth of God you, are not, you don't live by your feelings the fact that you are feeling that way does not mean that it, it neutralizes the word of God or it, it changes something, it doesn't change anything that is feelings, feelings are adrenaline they can change, you can be moody today and all of a sudden you can be happy but the believer constantly shall live by faith so the Bible says we do not look at the things which are seen by the things which are not seen. You understand that? So constantly build yourself on the word of God. And these demonic activities, these negative things that the devil makes you give energy to, and they happen to you, the power of it will cut off and you'll be free. May God bless you and stay close to God. Bye-bye.